Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are looking at first two from strings one, and this is the Java solution. The problem states given a string, return the string made of the first two chars. So the string hello yields he. If the string is shorter than length two, return whatever there is. So x yields x, and the empty string yields the empty string. And then they give us a little clue here that str.length returns the length of, of the string. And we can look at the examples here. Hello returns he. A, B, C, D, E, F, G returns A, B, and A, B returns A, B. Now, what, is, what, is, what, is, what are they trying to get at with this problem? Um, in the last couple strings one exercises, they said that you can assume the length of the string is valid, so there's no need to do some checking around the length. But in this case, if I just do this, if I just return str.substring 0, 2 to get the first two letters and hit go, Notice it works a lot of the time, but I get these index out of bounds cases. And if I look a little closer, I see that those index out of bound cases are cases where the length is 1 or 0. So this problem is highlighting that idea that the first thing I have to do is I have to check the length of this string. And I say if str.length is less than 2, so basically if this string is smaller than 2, I'm going to return just whatever str is, and there it is. Um, and that's all there is to this problem. It's, it's a nice problem, um, and it highlights this idea of always doing a length check before to avoid this problem of index out of bounds error. And the same goes for arrays. All right, we're going to do this one more way using just a fun now notation. All right, so the first thing we do is we're going to comment this out. And I like to put the slash slash in front of my comment, because that way if I comment this back in, that closed comment becomes just a comment. And we're going to use this question mark operator. So what we can do with this is we can do this. We basically write our conditional statement. We say if str.length is less than 2, and then we use this question mark operator. And the way it works is that the first thing we have is our true statement. So we're going to return, we're going to have, sorry, str, and then followed by the false statement, which is going to be um, str.substring 0, 2. And I'm going to hit go, and there it is. So what this is doing is it's basically evaluating this statement, and if it's true, it does this, and if it's false, it does this, and then it spits it out and returns it. Nice little operator to be aware of. You don't see it too often, but it's good to have in your back pocket. Have a great day.